Hey friends, I'm glad to see you again. I have an idea. You know how some of those grown-up topics can be a little bit uh, difficult to understand? Well, today we're going to go on an adventure. Are you ready? Get on your imaginary hiking boots and grab a walking stick. And don't forget your water bottle because we're going on a big hike. Hmm, do you remember what we've been talking about? Yes, we've been talking about the book of Revelation and about numbers and symbols and how we can be blessed, you know, like really happy inside. We've learned a lot so far. I'll tell you a little secret. Some grown-ups think the book of Revelation is too hard to understand. But we have an amazing God, and He can teach us what we need to know. You remember that hike we're going on? Let's go, and I think you'll find this to be not too hard. Let's think of Revelation like a very tall mountain. When you climb up the left side, you see Jesus working to save us and also warning about the things that are to come. And at the very top, you find a big battle going on. It's a battle between Jesus and Satan. And this is kind of what the book of Revelation is all about. In fact, that's what the whole story of the Bible is about. Thankfully, this battle doesn't go on forever. The Bible tells us that Jesus is coming again to take us to live with him forever. Now that's a really nice promise, isn't it? We'll learn more about that later. Now, where were we? Oh yeah, we were at the very top of the mountain where the battle is raging between Jesus and Satan. That's kind of where we are right now in this world. But don't worry, we don't have to be afraid because we can see on the other side of the mountain and we can see how the story ends. God warns us so that he can prepare us to get through to the other side. On the other side of the mountain, God gives his final warning message to the world. He's going to get rid of sin and evil forever. The beautiful promise is that everyone who decides to follow him will be saved and will live with him forever. Wow, that's a wonderful promise. Do you want to follow Jesus today? I sure do. I'd also like to play with the wild animals, only they won't be wild anymore. Like maybe cuddle up with a lion or swim with a dolphin or a whale. How about you? What animal would you like to play with? As we climb up Revelation Mountain, we can see what each chapter is about. Chapter 1 is telling us that Jesus is coming soon. Chapter 2 and 3 tell us how to overcome sin. Chapter 4 to 7 talk about how Jesus is working to save everyone. Chapters 8 and 9 talk about God's judgment or wrath mixed with mercy. Chapter 10 and 11 is about John being told to prophesy again about what's coming. This may seem like a lot of stuff we're going over, but that's okay. There's a lot of information in here. Climbing a mountain is hard work after all. And we just have to take one step at a time. Now we're getting to chapters 11 to 13, which are at the very top of the mountain. This is where we see the war between Christ and Satan. This is the main focus of Revelation, remember? Then we start down the other side of the mountain. Chapter 14 is one of my favorites. It's about God's people spreading the gospel to the whole world. Chapter 15 to 18 is about God's wrath again, like chapters 8 and 9. But this time it's too late for mercy. These are some sad chapters. Everyone has made their choice, and those who don't love Jesus are no longer protected by his power. We've almost finished all the chapters. 
keep listening because I'm going to ask you some questions soon. As we get farther down the right side of the mountain, we come to chapters 19 to 21. These tell about God saving those who follow him. His work of salvation is completed and everyone is singing hallelujah. Chapters 21 and 22 show us the promises of God that come true for all those that follow Jesus and overcome difficulties and sin through Jesus' power. And chapter 22, the very last chapter, reminds us again that Jesus is coming soon. He is so excited, he invites us to be ready for that special day. Now we'll look at the whole mountain again. Can you see it? Okay, I'm going to ask you some questions. Are you ready? Here they come. What does Revelation begin and end with? Take a look at the mountain at chapter 1 at the very beginning and at chapter 22 at the very end. And what do you see? Jesus is coming again soon. Who is the battle between in the very middle of the book of Revelation or the very top of the mountain? Do you know? Yes, it's the battle between Christ and Satan or Jesus and Satan. Christ is just another name for Jesus. Okay, pay attention. Which chapters on the left side of the mountain and which chapters on the right side of the mountain tell about the promises for those who overcome? Chapters two to three and 21 to 22. We saw that God's wrath or judgment comes on two sides of the mountain. What is the difference between the left side of the mountain and the right side of the mountain? What is missing on the right side of the mountain? The left side is mixed with mercy, and the right side, there's no more mercy anymore. Wow, you guys are paying attention. I thought maybe these would be too difficult, but you're doing a good job answering these questions. You're doing your best. Do you know that God actually wants to save everyone? He wants to give everyone a chance to live with him forever. That's why he gave us the book of Revelation to prepare us. God knows Satan is out to destroy us with his sneaky tricks and his lies. Because Jesus loves us, he has given us the book of Revelation and asks us to trust him and follow him. God's ways lead to eternal life. God wants everyone to live with him in the new heaven and the new earth that he will make. I'm really looking forward to that day. Are you? We've covered a lot of ground today. Did you get tired hiking up that big mountain? Sometimes it was difficult and sometimes it was easy. That's kind of how life is. But when we do it together, we help each other keep going. I've had a great time studying the Bible with you today and learning about God's plan to save us. Join me next time for another adventure in the book of Revelation. See you again soon.